For me, I've always been proud and I think navigating through, we're both biracial. I'm half black, half white, you're half black, half Puerto Rican. And so for me, I think I struggled a little bit with my identity for a long time. For me, a lot of like my early 20s were figuring out who I was. I've always identified as a black woman, but I don't I don't think I truly knew what it meant to like empower that and be, pr and be proud of that. It, I would say I'm 28 now. I think 25 is when I felt comfortable with who I was as a black woman, as a black bisexual woman. And then, you know, trying to challenge Alicia to do the same, uh, not, you know, forcing her into it, but push, giving her the little nudge that she needed to understand how much power is in her voice. And it's no secret that in the softball world, it's a predominantly white sport. And so for her, it was even more important to be a visible person for young black and brown women to see, to look up to, to see that there's opportunities and there's powerful women like Alicia and, and others that are in athletes and limited and other sports to to look up to and, and to try to be and in a lot of ways Taj has helped me find my voice I knew what I was passionate about but I didn't necessarily know how to you know use my platform to make change and to stand up for what I believe in and be loud about it. so she's inspired me a lot we've always you know had conversations about race equity equality and and just looking at her and seeing what the WNBA does and what she does individually it's sparked a lot more conversation especially in the climate of our country and what happened last year and what's happened in history uh, with, you know, black and white people of color. And I, I told her that even before Athletes Unlimited that I wanted to kind of push myself a little bit more to be in, in more leadership positions. And um, I feel like Athletes Unlimited with this working group, I was able to accomplish that. And I'm still on a journey to, you know, being able to use my voice and, and get it as as big as, as I want it. We, in our country, the reality is there's a lot of things set up to see black and brown people fail. So when we succeed, it's something to be extremely, extremely proud of because you not only, everyone faces obstacles and, and hurdles in their lifetime, but when there's literally systems of oppression set up to see you fail and you succeed, like you did the damn thing. Like that's something to be extremely proud of.